This is going to be an interesting project with mirrored acrylic. I'll be tracing out full size diagrams. First thing we'll do in Logitrace Trace is to define the four points. This is where I define my work area. You can see here where I'm touching the four corners of the paper diagram. Here I've selected the arc command. The arc command is neat because you're only touching three points. This is an easy project to trace out because we're basically using the arc command and the line command. Next command I'll be using is the three point circle. I'll be using those to trace out those dowels. There are four dowels on each frame. The neat thing about the circle command is the computer echoes back the diameter size so you can either keep that size or you can override it and type in a correction. Now I'll trace out the frame section. Again, we're going to select four points. We're going to define my workspace on this frame section. You can see where I'm doing it on the plan. Again, I'll be selecting the arc command and then I'll go to the line command to complete the perimeter of the frame. Once the frame is traced out, then I'll start with those rectangles where the panels of the acrylic mirror sit. This is really easy and quick tracing because we're basically looking at all rectangles. So it's all line command. Once we get down to the end of that frame, we'll get into the panels that have an arc to them. And there again, I'll just select the arc command, line command, and it's completed. Again, we're going to be tracing out the circles, those dowels. I'm going to use the three point circle command, and then the computer will echo back the diameter, and I can either keep it or overwrite it. I've loaded the finished file into Vetric Aspire. I've created two sets of diagrams as we're looking at two doors back and front. One toolpath will be to cut out the acrylic and the second toolpath will be to cut out the wooden frames. Shown here I'm starting to cut out the wooden frames. In this cut I'm using a quarter inch carbide end mill. It's running at about 19,000 RPM and about 40 inches per minute feed rate. Instead of tabbing all my cuts, I use those small nails to hold down the pieces as that part gets cut out, then it won't fly out. It's pretty smooth cutting, and I gotta cut two sets of these. You can see the panel layout here. All those panels is where the acrylic glass is going to be. Now I'll be showing the tool path to cut out the acrylic mirror. It's about a quarter inch thick, I'm using a quarter inch carbide end mill and it's cutting smooth. Cutting the acrylic mirror with the mirror side up and the gray side down. You can see here the frame with the acrylic glass laying inside. Shown here both doors. And of course this is the other side with the wood frame up. These arch decor doors with that acrylic mirror looks good.